Wrap up your holiday shopping with savings at NFM. Hurry in now for savings in every department. Shop savings on toys, TVs, recliners, appliances, and more. Plus, shop the way you want to with savings online 24-7. Take advantage of budget-friendly 24-month financing store-wide and 30-month financing on qualifying appliance, TV, and audio purchases. Make your holidays happen for less only at NFM. And visit NFM for your chance to win a Tesla Model Y. Minimum monthly payments required 18% APR. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Jam podcast. Hi everyone, it's Bran and I love Hallmark Christmas movies. Hey, it's Panda and I like Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Dan and I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. I'm Jen and I love the Deck the Hallmark podcast. Yeah. And, and this is the Deck the Hallmark podcast. <laughs> Well, it's a tradition mm, unlike it really other. is. So and good. it really, it really, it, you say that, Dan, yes. and this is happening right after the Masters, which some say is the, the tradition. No. And I say, get out of here, no, golf, no, no. with your hitting things on the greens. I'm not <laughs> interested. I'm interested in this tradition. Jen Kirkman on deck the Hallmark. That's exactly that right. That tradition is uh, one like any other. Jen, welcome back. Thank you so much. I can't even believe I'm lucky enough that this has become a tradition in my life. I've been a fan of the podcast since the first time I heard it years ago and congrats on all your success with how big it's gotten. And I mean, just look at the decorations alone. I mean, come well, on. I mean, yeah. we could say the same. Your background is Hawaiian. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, well, <laughs> this is my peel and stick wallpaper in my living room. I love it. Mm. So you're doing well. Yeah. I I have thought about doing peel and stick, and I just money's rolling in. Yeah, I, I would I would mess it up. I'd get yeah. like I just feel like it's really there'd be a bubble somewhere, right? With the peel and stick, you got to get it all out. How did you How did you do it? It's a it's a challenge for sure. Um, I did have someone that I hired. Yeah, yeah. There it is. That's the key. To do it, yeah. So there it is. Okay, so that's the key. Yeah, that's you can hire key. me, Brand. Yeah. I'll do it for you. <laughs> I would rather do a litany of things other than watch you try to hang. <laughs> But anything with bubbles in it. I feel like I would crush it. Uh, yeah, no, I do too. Yeah, I, okay. I, yeah. But if you guys join Brigham Jam Plus at the, we, we're starting a new tier. It's just called Wallpaper Tier. The Wallpaper and Tier. And it's a lot, but right. if we get it, <laughs> Panda's really going to do it. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to watch it. Uh, Jen, Merry Christmas to you. Uh, it's been a year. I don't know if you've heard a lot of things going on. Um, how excited are you for the holiday season? Does it, does it kind of just make everything a little bit better for you that, you know, there's all these fun movies and Christmas and all that good stuff. Well, certainly this year, since I won't be able to fly home and see my family, yeah. they're all in Massachusetts and I'm in California. And, you know, um, as I joke, our families can make us homicidal, but given the opportunity to actually kill them, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> so I will not be flying home during a pandemic. But um, so it's going to be a little bittersweet this year. But, you know, things like traditions that never change, like the Hallmark movies and your podcast is seriously going to get me through it. And my place is already decorated Love minus it. the Christmas tree that hasn't gone right. up yet. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm already in the spirit. And you're um, doing, aren't you doing some sort of like Christmas virtual show or something? Oh yeah. If people want to come, it's December 4th. So every year in Los Angeles, I do a show called the dysfunctional Christmas show. And it's for people that love and hate the Christmas time of year. Um, for people who love Christmas, but don't necessarily always, you know, have an easy time this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's a dark, funny show. And we do actually a Hallmark spoof every season. We do a sketch. Um, so yeah, if people want to go, it's they can go to my Twitter at Jen Kirkman and go to the pinned tweet and buy tickets. It's it should be really fun. It's a, it's it. a great Twitter I'm follow. Too. It's a great follow. 100%. You 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 were talking about it. You weren't you weren't even on and no, you were no, pitching no. it earlier. No, no. So we're, yeah, this to is us. just real. Jen's our famous friend. I don't yeah. know if you yeah. know. We, yeah. we have Jen's our famous friend She's on the podcast. Friend. We That's make true. sure. Um, Jen, well, we hope <laughs> that uh, we're able to uh, make Christmas a little less uh, uh, not, not lonely, but just a little better. That a lot of people I think are in the same boat, not traveling for Christmas, yeah. and it's kind of a bummer. So uh, we we're uh, we're gonna be with you the, every stretch of the way is what I like to say. Yeah. Every, every stretch, stretch of the way. Of the way. And step. Every step There's of the way. Every step every to stretch. make the stretch. You know every what I mean? Don't make me stretch. No, no, stretch no. Stretch before you step. That's right. 
I've always yeah. said that it's as well. Hey, uh, guys, I was thinking this weekend about um, a lot of things, including universal yums and how yum is the perfect word for it because you get, they're the official snack of season three. I don't know if you guys have heard. Yeah, I've heard. And every month we get a box full of goodies from a different country. So. The Russia box was amazing. The yeah. Italy box was better. And apparently the holiday boxes are coming up next. Oh boy. And so it's an exciting time. We heard from we heard Yons. from a, uh, a listener of the show who said they got it for somebody, a gift, and they loved it. And now they're doing all their Christmas shopping with Universal Yums. I mean, come on. Wow. It's a perfect gift for people of all ages. If you love trying new foods, if you hate it, it's actually perfect either way. So go to universalyums.com slash deck. Uh, support them. They're fans of us. We're fans of them. Let's all Win-win. be fans of each other, universalyums.com slash dag. I'm a little worried about your voice, Brandon. Are you going to be able to make it through the synopsis? Um, I have, it's what I'm calling my sexy voice. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm in because okay. we're talking about Christmas in Vienna. Yes. All right. And uh, I'm going to, we'll see how it goes. I'm okay. going to do it. It's not as long. So there's okay. that. Okay. Um, it originally aired on November 14th, 2020, my brother's birthday. Happy birthday, Pat. Uh, and it went a little something like this. Jess is a violinist who is in Vienna for a performance of sorts. Uh, She's walking around the town because she's going to be there for a couple of weeks uh, before the performance of sorts. And she bumps into a guy named Mark and they do a little chit chat and they go on their way. Turns out Mark is an American diplomat. Um, They bump into each other again at a cocktail party. Um, She asks him to dance. He says no. She asks him to dance again. Says no. It's a double double no to the dancing. And so obviously nothing's going to happen there. Or will it? Um, So she goes to visit a friend who is a nanny. And it turns out that she is the nanny of Mark. Uh, Not Mark himself. She doesn't nanny him. uh, But Mark's (laughs) children. Um, And so she agrees to watch the kids while her friend goes to work uh, at a booth selling ornaments that she makes a lot of. Uh, so her and her the kids, they go sightseeing. They go uh, decorate the tree with Mark and they start talking and they start digging each other. They even go ice skating. It's romantic. Um, he gets this new job offer that's going to force them to move and Jess tells him straight up, I don't think you should do it. I don't think it's good for the kids. I think you should stay here. And he does not take that well, despite the fact that he asked her her opinion. Um, um, they, um, they though, they, they kind of make up and everything's okay. And he ends up getting her a stocking to hang on the fireplace with the rest of the family stuff. It's very sweet. Yay for them. They then go to dinner and they walk and have a romantic dance. And it starts snowing and we're all happy. <laughs> <coughs> there it is. And uh, Jess gets an offer as well. To audition for the Vienna Philharmonic. Have you guys heard the Vienna the Philharmonic. Philharmonic? The Vienna first, second, somewhere Berlin, in there. Berlin, though. Mm. Oh, don't even talk about it. Um, they then go on a giant Ferris wheel and they open up about their fields. But Mark blows it and he's like, "I think I might be open to love again one day." Mm. And that's not what you say to someone that you're digging. Um, then he decides to take the job. Um, but then the kids find out about the job because Jesse yells loudly, have you told him about the job? <laughs> <laughs> and they are very upset about that. And so he decides to talk about it with the kids. They all decide we want to stay in Vienna. Uh, Jess leaves uh, some presents for them to open, and they all show up at the show. And Mark is like, hey, I'm staying, and you should audition and stay as well, and we should all stay together. Um, and they all perform, and I mean they all perform, the entire family. They then kiss big ones, and that, my friends, was Christmas, Christmas in Vienna. Vienna. That's exactly right. We did it. Man. We did it, everybody. So I thought I, the voice was going. No, no, no. I yeah. wouldn't let it. I said, get back in there. I get would back say in it there. amplified it for me. Thank yeah. you. It's yeah, a sexy yeah, yeah. voice. It, it's not. I not. just don't know where you're getting that. I keep saying it and hoping that it's, it's true. Gonna Someone's going to yeah. b- b- back me up on it. That's right. I, you know what? I'm with you on this oh one, Brian. Oh, my gosh. Let me try this one. Right. Thanks, Panda. 
Ooh. You sound like the before of a NyQuil commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't sound uh, Guys, sexy. one day it's 80 degrees here. The next day it's 50. It's I don't know what you want United from me. It's what happens. Yeah. South Carolina is the worst. Yeah. Hey, let's take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll break this movie down. I don't know if you've heard. We've got four segments. We'll get to all four of those segments. But first, here's a break and some words from sponsors. By this point, I don't even need to do this ad because... <laughs> Word is filling the interwebs, the streets, family, friends, word of mouth. If you've not gotten on board with Blonde Chalet yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> it's 55% off. That's right. You're home for COVID. You're sitting around. You're doing all of these things to keep yourself busy, to not go out and to see too many other people and trying to stay home. You're redoing the garden and the back door and the back porch. And why not redo all of the window coverings in your house? Blind Chalet is here to help. They can give you custom window coverings. They can give you free samples. They always ship for free. They will have an answer to, to your window covering conundrum. And the best part is, for listening to us, you get, you heard me right, 55% off. Shiza. You got to go to blindchalet.com. Blindchalet.com. And the end of the promo code Hallmark55. Hallmark55. You're going to get 55% off the best blinds on the market with free shipping and free samples. What are you waiting for? Go do it now. Shiza. <laughs> I am not positive. Na, 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 na. Oh, I don't know. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure Scheiser is a German cuss word. Uh, and I'm no, not Scheiser. 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 Okay, it's not is what you're saying. Because this is a family-friendly show uh, is all I'm saying. Uh, and, not, in, not in Germany. It's not. In Germany, we're X-rated is what you're That's saying. That's exactly yeah. right. Take the homework after dark. Hey, right. Scheiser oh, all you over there. Yeah. Scheiser, Scheiser, Scheiser. Wow. wow. Um, hey, are you guys ready to dive into this movie? We have four hot segments take. to do it. The first is the hot take. No one gives a hotter take than my friend Panna, which That's is why right. we start with you. I think you do a great job of being the cornerstone yeah, of really the hot tried. take because yeah, of how uh, in touch with your hot take you are. So, buddy, yeah. what do you think about this movie? So, uh, the, somewhere in between <laughs> definitely and, and maybe not as much. So, I like this movie uh, a, a fair amount. Okay. Uh, will not be in my top five, but I still really liked it. I will do a rewatch. I... Man, I'm a sucker this year for uh, the family family bits uh, with the kids and, and the and the adult for the family bits. That's what I said. Yes. So Typical scalding hot take from Panda there. Guys, so, what you want, it's not, like I don't know. So definitely, about, maybe a seven Mike point two. Would not seven point two. two. Okay. You started this now. Signed and sealed. Jen, what did you think of this movie? I, I'm right down the middle as well. I liked it. Um, I, of course, the Vienna part mm. really kicked it over the top for yeah. me, which I'll get into later. But I, I, I loved it. I love that it was actually filmed there. I liked, I liked the the writing. I thought the dialogue was fun, and and I like when things are kind of awkward between the the romantic leads for a longer time, like this movie was, and not so melodramatic. You know, um, I thought it was a real doozy in this one that he's got three kids oh, yeah. you know usually it's just one kind of sad overly mature eight-year-old that you have to <laughs> <laughs> suddenly be a step parent no. to but no. i was like "Woo, yeah. she's stepping into a busy busy family um i also just you know the parts that i didn't like will will, will be in my weight what's but but overall what missed the mark for me was all the job stuff like i i got confused yes. about a lot of everyone's job things and i think that's a staple of these movies, but if you took job stuff out of it, it'd still be what the point was. And then I liked it. Yeah. Um, I'm right there with everybody so far. I liked it. It was fine. Uh, I won't be my top five. Um, but I liked, I really liked Sarah Drew. I thought she was mm -hmm. great. Really enjoyed her. Uh, and Brennan's Brennan. He's wonderful. Um, and he actually is my all the feels, which we get to in just a second, but just wonderful. He's great. Um, and you know, the kids were fine. Uh, they were there and, um, I enjoyed her with the kids. I thought it was a, kind of a natural fit. It didn't feel weird. Um, I agree. Like there were a couple things I didn't, I felt like, um, like she's right. Brennan is very hot and cold in this. Yes. She says it. He is. Mm -hmm. And almost to the point to where it's just annoying. Like I got annoyed when, uh, he says, Hey, give me your opinion. 
and then she gives a perfectly it. valid opinion that the fact that you haven't thought about your kids and what they might think about it, like someone need to say it. So you shouldn't be mad at, I don't know. He was very up and down throughout the whole movie. And I'm worried that after a while, she's going to get sick of that. Like eventually, <laughs> yeah. Event, mm-hmm. like it's only been a week. Eventually you, you can't take it anymore. And so I, I don't know, uh, that part of it, he was very up and down more so mm-hmm. than I think the, the normal guy is in these movies. And so I don't know. It was fine. Vienna. Amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to go there. Apparently they only eat sweets. So count me in. Um, so all that's working for me, but overall just to find for brand. Uh, thank you. Vienna. I'm glad that it happened. Cause I'm glad I got to go there via film. Yeah, thank God we got a violin movie. I have been clamoring Ooh, yeah. uh, for a violin. I just feel like we're just underusing this particular piece of the orchestra. Mm. It's the third violin movie in 14 movies. That's higher than 20% is what Hallmark's batting on, making sure a movie's about a violin. <laughs> Here's the thing about these travel movies, like whether it's like Italy, Rome, or Bruges, or Vienna, is if you look close enough, the movies are still terrible. Um, they're, they're really, really bad. It's just bad in Vienna. And, and this movie was no exception. Uh, Vienna, look, Vienna's beautiful, but we, like it's not a place that I think even the three of us, if we're thinking of traveling to a place, we list in our first, I don't know, a few dozen, Uh, but it is beautiful for sure. The rest of the movie, just a a truck full of wait what's, um, really from opening frame to last, uh, the performance at the end is mind-bogglingly stupid. Uh, The the dialogue does snap a little bit. Brennan Elliott is a fixture of these, and he does a great job for a reason. Sarah Drew does a good job too. The movie just isn't good. Like it just is a, it's a slog. And if it's a slog in Vienna, I don't, I just don't know what to tell you. I saw slog in Vienna live once. So good. Uh, And I, maybe it was because where they weren't in Vienna and they in the albums it's yeah. just too just the pace isn't there but live live they bring oh so my good. goodness they yeah. killed a live chicken <laughs> <laughs> for why I didn't see I, that part no, you I must have I had to be there well I was um, alright let's move on to all the feels <laughs> if you're not going to give you feels I don't know what will <laughs> yeah. uh, Pan any feels for you pal oh, absolutely I think at the very beginning when Sarah drew with the awkwardness like I do like how she's kind of awkward around him at yeah. first there's something that for me that just made it very charming and endearing and when she does uh, I can be the American Mary Poppins kind of thing I laughed like I think that's a funny mm-hmm. scene I think that's charming I think that for me made me connect really well with her character overall and so man, yeah I'm a big fan of her i'd like to see her in more more movies absolutely absolutely jen feels for you yeah um dan's gonna laugh because he just said this wouldn't be vienna on anyone's list but um i i'm i love to travel um and this year has been hard because i haven't been able to and so last year i couldn't pull it together but i was planning a trip um since last year like vaguely to go to either Vienna or Barcelona. Oh, wow. This Christmas before I go visit my family, because I love those Christmas markets and I love Europe and I love being cold. And anyway, I have this whole thing in the notes section of my phone about like things to do in Vienna at Christmas. And I really wanted to go. Oh my goodness. And, um, And I'm a big Mozart buff. I played piano my whole life and I got emotional when they actually showed Mm. this is where he first played. And so I didn't even pick this movie. I said to Bran, like, just tell me what movie to watch and and I'll do it. And so I felt like a kismet um, about this. And so I was very emotional just looking at I don't know, Vienna and thinking about Mozart. Wow. (laughs) There you have it. So there's my feels. I also thought, um, the mistletoe moment when he kisses her hand and says, should yeah. I get yeah, our kids? I mean, my right. kids, that was, that was a feel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That, uh, was it a, was it a church that Mozart played at? Like that, that yeah. building, was that was just was oh my God, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. They don't make them like they used to. That's what I always say. <laughs> um, the guy that builds churches here. In South Carolina, <laughs> he sucks. <laughs> Where are them Austrians? <laughs> Guys, stained glass is Jeez. dope. I don't know why we've moved away from the stained glass. You know what I mean? No? Just me? Uh, here's my thoughts. Uh, Brandon and Elliot at one point, uh, they met once, um, and then they met again at the cocktail party. And um, at, towards the end of that meeting, she's like, uh, I'll stop bumping into you type of thing. Well, the next day, she goes over to uh, his house, not knowing it's his house, and her friend goes to introduce her to Mark, and he's turned around, and he turns and just looks right at the camera mm-hmm. and just goes, 
I thought we weren't going to bump into each other again. <laughs> Come on, Brendan. That, the, the guy knows what he's doing. Yeah, he he's, he, he just looked right into my soul, and uh, I loved it. Brendan, you can do that any day of the week, my friend. Uh, it was fantastic. Um, and I don't know. I, there was, like, he, it was just a moment of him just turning around, and it was a tight shot, like just his face. I loved it. It was great. Uh, gave me feels. I don't know what you want from me, Dan. Uh, there are a lot of Sound of Music-esque moments in this movie. Um, at the end, all the kids on the stage singing, even one where they come down the stairs, um, and just including, starting to include Sarah Drew's character into more and more of their family. I really enjoyed not only just thinking about the fact that as a kid I hated the Sound of Music, and then now I've really come to appreciate it, but the him giving uh, her the stocking I thought was a, a pretty good moment of all the things mm -hmm. like you could go too overly romantic with a gift, but hey, you're here for the holidays, you're going to feel like family. It has her name on it. Uh, I was I was in for that moment of this movie. I mm -hmm. thought it was a really well done moment. Um, it's a better better across the board gift than what she goes with for the kids later, which which I'm sure we will get to. Mm -hmm. um, so so yeah, I, that moment worked for me. If if a moment did, yeah, absolutely. I yeah. think that this is the best. Uh, travel with with like the name of the location movie we've had in Hallmark because a lot of times like they don't Rome, give you the scenes Paris, yeah. and those I yeah. think that this is the best one we've ever that they've ever done I felt it a lot more than what was it Christmas in Rome last yeah, year? Yes. And, uh, the yeah. one with in Bruges oh, yeah. uh, love romance and chocolate where Lacey Chabert travels all the way to Bruges and then we just spend the whole time inside, inside a yeah. chocolate shop. I really I just felt yeah. yes yeah, I yeah, did yeah, too yeah. I, thought, yeah, I think yeah, this sprawling. is the best one that, they've done yeah, yeah. So. that Ferris wheel looks oh awesome oh my gosh bring it for sure you can like have champagne in it and have like sit down but i love it also because like i don't know how slowly they're going but is it like you got a shotgun it before it gets back around is it like a fun <laughs> drinking game all right you got 60 seconds you'll be back go go go, 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 go. go. <laughs> um hey let's take one more quick break here from another one of our wonderful sponsors we'll be right back and we'll get to those wait what here on deck the homework Every year around Christmas time, I think about gifts that I can give like my mom. And I always think about these fun like family pictures and a nice frame. But I never know like what the best frame is. And I never know the best way to do it. It's something that I always think about doing. And then I just end up doing something easier because the frames scare me. And that is why I'm excited about FrameBridge because they've made it so simple to take your pictures and other things and get them in some amazing frames for you for the holiday season. It's easy. You just go to FrameBridge. Dot com. You upload a picture. Um, you can choose from a bunch of different frame styles. They give you some nice preset ones that they think are going to look good with it. You can even, uh, one of the things that I loved, uh, you guys know those like picture walls where it's just like a bunch of bit different pictures on a wall and you're like, that looks really awesome, but I don't know how to do that. They have somebody that can stylize what? that for you. Unbelievable. It's amazing. They've thought of everything. And even like if you have like a, 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 a ticket stub to uh, the World Series, you can send that into them and they'll frame it with a wonderful thing. They've got all sorts of mm. perfect frames for any sort of gift that you can imagine. And uh, they're giving our listeners a 15% off their first order. That's 15% off their first order by going to framebridge.com and using the promo code Hallmark, 15% off. Um, framebridge.com, promo code Hallmark. One last time, framebridge.com, promo code Hallmark, 15% off today. Perfect gift. Go Framebridge. <laughs> You never know how to wrap them up, man. You never know how to wrap them up. No, you don't know how to wrap them up. <laughs> Go get them today. You know how I know we're professional is What's the that? way we end our ads and the fact that we make our guests sit through them. <laughs> it's the best. You know, some podcasts are like, we'll record that in post because we have a guest and their time is valuable. We're like, hey, we're doing it all live. So thank, I love it. Thanks, I'm learning Jen. a lot. Yeah. yeah. And you, you can attest that's one take. We didn't know, There's no practice in there. No scripts. No. Just one take. We're doing it. it was, all from the heart. That's really, right. I'm, we're helping you, that's I right. think. With You've your already Christmas ordered your blinds so, yeah. at 55% off. So, you know. Uh, that's, yeah. You can't <laughs> see me doing it, but that's what I'm doing under here. That's right. That's right. Yeah. If I seem a little scattered, it's the blind. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> everyone. Uh, it's time for the Wait What? It's part of the show. We talk about when this movie made us go, wait, what? Panda? Uh, at one point, the oldest girl is singing in the middle of, like, just the street, and yeah. a guy <laughs> is coaching her. Yeah. I want to, who is that guy? We've never seen him before, and he's just, he's He's giving her words of instruction on what to do. He's a walk-up vocal coach. <laughs> I, I don't know. He just sits out on the corner with his spare change cup out. I, I <laughs> like to think of him, you know, like this, you know, the, the busking, and you go and you play your music. This guy just says, tip me and I'll give you some lessons. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a different singing type outside, of thing. Singing outside is so good for the vocal cords. Oh, it, it is. Really yeah. Is. yeah. She yeah. gets it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, guys, to be fair, you get what you pay for because she gets to the point in the song where she's like, I keep screwing up there. And he's like, just, just take, take a break. Just take a break. <laughs> <laughs> take five minutes. Like, what you do uh, here, you see when you're going, take a break. Nope. <laughs> That's what you do. You're not doing it. Yeah, yeah. man, that wasn't good. Uh, <laughs> take a break. <laughs> you were right. You paid me a quarter. And I'm here to tell you, you're bad. <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> Permanently. Uh, 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 the, the poor boy gets absolutely in the gift exchange. And I know oh. we'll, get, we'll have more to say about the gift exchange. No, go but for I just it. want to point out, okay, the, Sarah Drew's character gets a really nice stocking. The The youngest girl gets a violin. The oldest girl, oldest gets, girl gets a violin. No, youngest girl gets no, the No, the necklace. youngest girl gets oh, the violin. Yeah, and then the oldest girl gets that beautiful necklace that's that deeply meaningful. Her. That's right. Yeah, matches her. The boy gets <laughs> an eagle's hat. Gently used. <laughs> And a, a, a place to hang the hat, which is a sor- uh, yeah. Santa ornament thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets ripped out. Like, what's his gift cost? Like, 15 bucks? Yeah. You know, what is like a couple thousand yeah. bucks? Yeah. I mean, it just, yeah. I felt that. It hurt my heart. Yeah. And then, uh, I loved him too because he didn't, cheated there. he didn't even get it immediately. No. He looked at it and he was like, the f- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's the hat hanging <laughs> bit. bit didn't we? Came Go back ahead. around. Oh. Shiza, man. Their gifts are very literal, like, this is worth something. It has value and yep. meaning. And his gift is like, you know that one time we had that talk? <laughs> Here's something that represents that. <laughs> I even know the the Eagles were. Yeah, that's I, right. <laughs> finally, like for me, I don't, guys, I don't understand this. So the entire movie, she is practicing, and they go up, make a point. The the, uh, the oldest girl is practicing Ave Maria. They make a point of showing her practicing Ave Maria. And with I don't know five minutes left, ten minutes left in the movie, she goes, you know what? We're gonna go Silent Night. Yeah, I. She basically said, I know we're supposed to go to Morton's Steakhouse, but I'm thinking four for four from Wendy's. <laughs> I know that we are in Vienna right now, but uh, <laughs> Silent Night, anybody? Silent Night. I, anybody? I, I, I know. I've been working a long time. How about a Christmas carol we hear all the freaking time? How about that instead? <laughs> anybody up for it? I just don't understand why she did it. Like the, the vocal coach was there being like, practice. that's a good decision. That's, that's you weren't, you weren't going to get Ave Maria. That Silent no. night you can get. You don't have to take a break on this one. No, you don't can take a break. straight through. <laughs> don't take a break. Just go for it. Uh, Jen, wait, what's for you? Well, speaking of Silent Night, this is the second Hallmark movie. Uh, there was one last year, I think, where someone's favorite song to dance to <laughs> is right. Silent Night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> went back to that well. <laughs> it's not a thing. <laughs> um, I also... You tell that to my wife, Jen. I went over one day <laughs> to the DJ and slipped him a 20 and said, play Silent Night, please. <laughs> I remember back early this year, man, I was going to the club and I was just like, gosh, I hope they bust out Silent Night so I can show these moves off. It's a good song. Mm. Great song. Um, okay, let's see. I feel like my, this way, I'll just two nitpicky ones and then my big overall weight mm-hmm. one. Um, she keeps saying to the boy, and unless I miss something at the beginning, she keeps out of the blue saying to him, there are a lot of different ways to hang your hat. She said it twice. (laughs) And then I know it comes back as the gift, but before it is the gift, I was like, why does she keep saying this to him? Did I miss something? Did I miss something where he talks about a hat? No, I I think she has a conversation where she's, she says you need to have some place to hang your hat or something like that. And he goes, I don't wear a hat. It's the conversation when he's talking to, uh, when she's talking to him about the fact that all this stuff is still in boxes. I think she says something there, but I'm not positive. Got it. Okay. Yeah. It seems a little jammed in. Yeah. But oh, okay. yeah. For oh, sure. Yeah. Um, this is just real nitpicky, but when she first meets uh, Brendan, Brendan. Mark. Yeah. Mark in the movie. Mark, yep. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm being a real jerk, but she goes, um, he's like, oh, yeah, I speak English. He's like, you know, most people here speak English. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. I'm just going to be, listen, it's part of Europe. <laughs> lots of tourists from England. English is a major language. It's not because everyone, you know, is trying to cater to Americans. Also, if she has a professional job where she's being sent to Vienna, they would have told her, don't worry, everyone speaks English there. It, she would have learned it at the hotel. She's carrying a guidebook. She would know this. I don't know why it just annoyed me. For some reason, it annoyed me. Um, also, why does she have to feel inspired 
to do a job where she's playing a Christmas carol. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I get it. <laughs> like we all get burnout at work and yeah. there's certain things during work where you're like, oh, this, I have to do this every year. It's kind of like whatever. But I just overall, I didn't understand what, I get that they're not going to show an entire orchestra, but they didn't even, like when they're all out on stage at the beginning, there's not even a setup behind them of like chairs and music stands to imply no. an orchestra is going to play. So I'm like, did they fly her solo to Vienna to play yeah. vi- a violin? Yeah. I've got it, what, 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 is, what is the whole violin thing? 100%. I don't understand. Well, I, I, in my notes, I actually have what, what lottery did she win where she's <laughs> right. in the Minnesota Philharmonic and they fly her by herself to Vienna, which we found out either the best or second best Philharmonic in the world, depending upon which website you go to Berlin and Vienna. And she gets to play solo at this at this thing in a packed house, but I, it's also like, why did they make her come out two weeks early? Yeah, to it, play for someone like, were they just giving her the a okay? Like, oh, you are good, you can play. Oh my like, gosh. it doesn't well, make any sense. I, I was so confused too. Yeah. Oh, I, I I didn't understand the. She came early to sightsee, but then she was going to audition. Yeah, it's a it's one of these classic situations where you work your whole life at something, but you vacation two weeks before you're supposed to do it professionally. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like, why wouldn't you vacation after this? Yes. And, and also, she's going to audition for the thing. Okay, my last one is, he says to her, do you think you'll ever come back to Vienna? And we've just seen, they asked her to audition for the Philharmonic. She doesn't say to him, well, I might, because I just got an audition. Nah. Too easy. Too easy. And then I go, oh, you know what's happening. So, you know, yeah, my weight what's are just, they, they're not fun this year. They're, I'm very confused and I, I hope you guys have answers. Oh my gosh. No, no, it doesn't <laughs> no, make it. There's just, she didn't tell them on purpose. I don't know why she just decided not to tell them. That didn't make any sense. Um, I want to go back to the hat. Well, one more time, if we, if you don't mind everybody, please, please do it. Um, yeah. she tells him, uh, this is the first time it happened that you need something to hang your hat on. And he says, I don't wear a hat. Well, the next day, my boy's wearing a hat. He is rocking a hat. Sure is. And I just want to say, my friend, be consistent. Like, either don't wear hats or or be proud of your hat. Like, just just do it. Just, like, don't be a liar about it. Um, I don't know why, uh, like, I understand she's big into music, so she knows a lot about Mozart and, like, all that stuff. But the first day, they're going sightseeing. And initially, she's just pointing out paintings of not musicians. She's like, that's the king. That's like, how does she know? Why does she know so much about this history? Like, I I, I know they spoke English. She's she's actually in a Groundhog Day situation. Like, she's been stuck on that day in Vienna for years. That's the king. That's his wife. That's right. You get it. And, And lastly, why are th- why are the kid the kids seem like they've never sight seen before? That is a they, huge one for I, me. They made it sound as if they were going to show her the town, and she's showing them literally everything aside from going up on the yeah. on the thing where yeah. they say that their mom like they act as if they've never seen any of this stuff before. What have you guys been doing for but, a full year? And also, I, my kids are four, but I remember what it was like being a teenager, and these three kids are more excited to sightsee <laughs> yes. in a town they've been living for a year than any three children on the planet. Yeah. Like they are just not, I just can't believe it. Like, yeah, more old churches, please. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, could and, we? And just their excitement to see their dad. I hope my kids are that excited yeah. to see me when they're teenagers, but it's not looking good. <laughs> <laughs> not that good. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Uh, Dan. Uh, yeah. I want to point out that if you've been living somewhere for an entire calendar year, it is 100% not easier to leave your stuff in boxes. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> this kid, they've not been there a few weeks. This kid has left all of his stuff in boxes for a, a year, which means anytime he needs anything, he <laughs> digs into a box to get the thing that he needs in order to go and live his day and then puts said thing back in the box when he's done. That's ridiculous. Like, just unpack the boxes, bro. It's easier. I promise it's easier. Um, Judd, uh, Sarah Drew's roommate, former roommate, which is a great what the hallmark. She wants to sell these ornaments at this at this Christmas fair, but she never can get a booth. And this guy she's interested in says that my mom got a bigger booth than usual. Yeah. 
<laughs> and I like we've sold merch before at these events. You don't get to choose the booth that you want. Like, what do you mean? She showed up and thought she was getting a normal booth, and it was like Whoa. an entire block corner. <laughs> she was like, "Wait a dang minute! I, I don't have enough stuff for this booth. This is an XL super booth. That's what this is." Well, How imagine like to- going to do a show at a venue, and they're like, "We actually rent out the entire building next door for you to sell merch." <laughs> That's right. So That's right. no pressure. No pressure. That's right. But I'll you sell it out. The storehouse over yeah. here for all of your merch. Uh, um, Philadelphia is the Vienna of the United States. Yeah. <laughs> That's a line that yeah. said in this movie. You know, they say, Philadelphia, you know, we're all, you're from the Northeast, Jen. You probably heard it a hundred, if you had a nickel for every time that you heard Philadelphia is yeah. the Vienna of the U.S. I mean, I can't even go to the Liberty Bell without going. This well, is, this is being, Vienna. Being from Boston, we always had an inferiority complex. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Vienna of yeah yeah you're and, you're just yeah. the Brussels of the United hey, do you States. Guys, yeah. Do you guys want to hop on the bus and go to Vienna of the United States <laughs> this weekend? Uh-huh. Those Vienna cheesesteaks oh, are so good. So good. Oh, and by my. the way, when they suddenly cut to them ice skating, they did look like they were in Philadelphia. That's right. That's opposite. right. Yeah, actual Philadelphia, not the Philadelphia of Europe. <laughs> if that works both ways. I, I don't know it if it works both ways. I think it ways. does. Uh, they're walking through town. What do you think the Vienna version of Fresh Prince is? I don't know. I'd like to see Man, it. I want to see that. <laughs> yeah. I want to see an Austrian Fresh Prince. That'd oh, be fun. yes, please. Fresh Prince. Sorry, that was bad. That's my accent if I were in a Hallmark movie. It's so good. <laughs> what were you ready? We, it, kind of, it kind of broke it up. Can Give you it to it again, me one more please? time, please. Sure. The Fresh Prince. <laughs> yeah. You're in. You're signed. You're in. You just booked a four movie deal, Jim. Oh my God. Yeah. That's bad. We're going to send you tears in this movie. Uh, <laughs> Auntie and Uncle in Germany. Yeah. At one point, they're walking through town, and Sarah Drew's character says, Whenever I hear live music, I stop whatever I'm doing to listen. <laughs> That is bold. Like, I get it on occasion, but you mean to tell me every time. I mean, you live in Philadelphia. That could be every day. You don't get through a day. You get on the street, you're like, wait a, wait a minute. Is somebody playing something? She <laughs> says that's a life rule of hers. That's a life rule. She has two of them. First, no dessert. Yeah. I always eat dessert yeah. first. Always stop whatever I'm doing. Whenever I hear live music. <laughs> Freeze. You freeze so I can listen and soak it in. After like uh, the 10th the crazy person on the street being really bad doing some yes. spoken word, That's right, yeah. I, I throw out that rule. <laughs> I throw out that In rule. downtown Greenville, we would be stopped every oh. other block. And we're in Greenville, South Carolina. I can't uh. imagine in Philadelphia. That's ridiculous. And then I don't know. That reminds me, the other day I was driving down Main Street and I saw this woman who was playing, I think the violin, and there was a guy just like hovering like, what? What are you doing? Like he'd never seen the violin before. So I loved him. It's mysterious he, that violin. He fu- it's, his, it's his rule. He stops anytime he's loving you. And lastly, Brennan Elliott is a diplomat, and I believe he gets paid full time and works part time. I don't know any other way to describe his hours, but I would love that job where he is free in the middle of the day every day. I don't understand it. I don't understand how he can always be free in the middle of the day, just randomly. There are some times when he takes his kids out in the middle of the day and he's the only guardian and he asks Sarah Drew to come along and then he's like, oh, I gotta go. Well, what was his plan if if Sarah Drew didn't come along? Like, what was he gonna do? Just leave his kids out in the market just to sit there? Like, I don't know. Yeah, don't the understand. vocal coach take care of That's that. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slips the vocal coach a few extra Austrian dollars, whatever they're... Uh, and I, I Sometimes he was an ambassador, and I was like, yeah, which is it? And then he said, I'm brokering peace deals all day. And I'm like, I don't think uh, you do that. You I know, think that's that the United level. States has been at war with Austria for a long time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, Mel- Melinda in our Facebook group, BrainBridgeNPlus.com, brings up a wonderful point. If she's playing live music with other people, does she have to stop? <laughs> 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 like, if she's in the Philharmonic. And she's doing her thing. Melinda, that's great. And she's like, oh, live music, got to stop. I took a rest for two measures, but I cannot play again. <laughs> There's nothing I can oh do. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's time for What the Hallmark is part of the show. We wonder what could have been, maybe happened. Give some clarity to any questions that we still have. Panda. Uh, I want to talk about the accents. You guys know I was hung up as we were watching this movie. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mainly because, okay, the children all have... I, I, 
at least the two girls have accents very clear. I think they, the, boy they pos- the boy does yeah. too. Okay. So the timeline of events is their mom's from Vienna. She yes. passes away when they're very young. Now, they have not lived in Vienna more than a year. A year, okay? that's right. A year. Nevertheless, they have very distinctive accents. Uh, dad, obviously, no accent whatsoever. I just want to know more about where did they acquire the accents. Yeah. And, and we had a conversation about that. I, I think that's, but that's an interesting question. What's their if history about they traveling expat, across Europe? They've just been moving from place to place yes. in Europe, which kind of gives you this like accent that just is a coagulation of all of these different yes. places and, and English being your main language. Yes. Yeah, that's a good question. That's, an, that's my I question. Jen, any questions for you? I want to know the the story of the entire audience that came to see, I, again, unsure, a orchestra play. <laughs> and this woman comes out in English. I mean, I know everyone speaks English there, but also you would think there'd be some authentic, like, uh, you know, Austrian, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So this woman comes out in English and says, Christmas is about love, <laughs> which it's just not, it's just not, if we're going biblical, it's not. And if we're going cultural, it's also not, it's about <laughs> give, you know what I mean? It's not about romantic love. Goodbye. So, um, but she says that, and then she brings out a girl that's been playing violin for a week and her family to sing silent night. I want, to know if anyone walked out like what the f was that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I know I did. I want to follow an entire family home as they <laughs> they gave up their Christmas playing. Eve for that. That too. girl could yeah. really play violin, but before then, what? Did I want to see the box office issuing <laughs> refunds. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. There had Somebody's to be more. There, their job there had to be more to the show. Stage. There had to be more to the Went show. Went to the Vienna Opry House. Got to see the Von Trapp family singers do Silent Night. <laughs> oh, no. Even if there was more to the show, the fact that 20 minutes of it was that. Yes, absolutely. And not in the program, I want a refund. Yeah. And also, I was promised Ave Maria, son of a gun. <laughs> uh, I saw a street preview of yeah. Ave Maria. And it was great. She took five. <laughs> um, my biggest question um, is one that I just totally forgot. I'm going to go to Dan. Okay, uh, can we talk about uh, Sarah Drew Jess's roommate? I want to know how she in Philadelphia got an Austrian roommate. Like, I want to know. Sure. I mean, what I'm not saying it for? can't happen, but what was uh, the roommate doing in the United States? Yes. From Austria, from Vienna, and just decided to go to college in the United States for some reason. I just want to know how they how they met and why she was there and why she moved back and her background. It just and she obviously now she's a millionaire because she is yeah. selling buckets of these ornaments. <laughs> this brings me to my what the hallmark Dan it, 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 messing around. It's her. It's it's the ornament yeah. situation because she um, <laughs> she goes. And she is selling out daily, she yes. says. It's a giant booth. Of you have a lot of she's ornaments. making them at night. She's also, she makes a note that she's doing online sales and those are booming. When is she making those ornaments? <laughs> is that a heavy delay? Like you'll get them after the holiday season. I got to focus so, on the booth. That's a great question. I, there's a lot of questions about the ornaments. When she's making them, how many she's being able to make. I, don't I contend that she went all in on ornaments a year or two ago and started making them and storing them in a house somewhere. She has just closets <laughs> and rooms full of ornaments, knowing it's going to pay off <laughs> big one day. Yeah. That, that is what's happened. So now she's selling out of them. Yeah, no, I think so. Yeah, for I sure. Think so, Dan, I have, I have an answer to your what the hallmark i oh. actually know the backstory oh okay yeah yeah um she was nervous about going to college in the states because she was going to be homesick and her parents said why don't you go to the vienna of the united states <laughs> and college in philadelphia it was actually one of the summer movies you guys you won't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't even philadelphia, miss it. christmas in vienna it's a it's like an anthology you series. won't I even see. miss yeah. it oh It'll my like goodness never laugh yeah, yeah yeah it's the same I love it. Um, we did it, everybody. Hey. Chris is in Vienna. Hey. Another one in the books. Uh, we're about to dive into our double decker of the week, which I'm very excited about. Uh, while we get ready for that, Jen, tell everybody about how they can find you on the internet machine and follow you and hopefully see you live on the line, but also hopefully in person at some point Someday. in the rest of our lives. They can just go to my website, jenkirkman.com, and right on the homepage is tickets to my Christmas show, and follow me on the Twitters at jenkirkman, one N and Jen, and 
it's Kirk Mann, not Kirk Land, and you're all, you'll be all set. Boom. Love it. Mm. Uh, it's time for Double Liquor of the Week. It's where we talk about a couple of people who have joined Brain World Jam Plus. Uh, Panda, you do the deep dive yeah, into yeah. their story. It's always revolutionary in some way. And uh, I can't wait to hear about who we have today, Dan. Fiona Who and Jasmine Atkins. Mm. Fiona and Jasmine. You know, right. uh, they're anchors on a uh, 24-hour uh, station, uh, channel 863. Uh, <laughs> like, called called Span Your Station. Channel 863. Yeah, now, yeah. is that on if <laughs> Direct I go to, TV? Direct TV yeah, it's, it's, no, it's, it's a collective deal. Awesome. It is the collective one deal. channel. So if yeah, I has managed. just got an antenna out and typed in 863. Yeah, oh, it's there. And it's called Collective Span? No, no, no. It's, it's called Span Your Station. Span, span Your, your Station. station. Uh, and what it, does that mean? It's just a review of, of everything that's happening on C-SPAN 3. So not C-SPAN 1 or 2. No, C-SPAN the third three. one. It's the best What of does happen on but C-SPAN? What three. happens on C-SPAN is, is like actual legislative right, process. Sure. It doesn't need any explaining. Well, you would think that, but this is the genius of it. They have, though. They've, they've gone. What they've are they gone, doing? So, it's okay, just talking. <laughs> C-SPAN, but C-SPAN, they, they give you the angles that no one's talking about. So it's basically just like a political show, like you could find on MSNBC and no, no, they're, they're, or Fox. They're giving or, you a big review of it. Is C-SPAN 3 where they put all the stuff that even people who watch C-SPAN don't want to watch? Like, I don't know about 3. I think I, I think they do book reviews uh, on there. They why, do, a clip. why wouldn't they call it C-SPAN, S-E-E, SPAN? You see, that... I asked them the same question, but they don't make those decisions. <laughs> uh, that would be a better that would be a better name. Yeah, no kidding. We got a clip. Welcome to Span Your Network. Today we are reviewing something that happened on C-SPAN three that you won't believe. <laughs> <laughs> they went into John McCain's family's mansion from back in the day. They went into the library. They found a book. The book was called Green Eggs and Ham, <laughs> first edition. And that uh, is Span Your Network. <laughs> yeah, we did. All do. right, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with another, another episode. Jim, we'll be back next year Jim, uh, thank with you. Because it's a tradition. You. We love it. We thank love you. you so, so much. We love everybody yeah. else. And may we be the first to wish you and you at home a, a very Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. I did the very. I did the very. Every that time. That was my fault. That was my fault. The Brandon Jam Podcast is produced by Brandon Gray and presented by Friendly TV. Our lovely set is decorated by Plum Home Decor. You can check them out at plumonmain.com. Com. For more information on Bramble Jam Podcast, go to BrambleJamPodcast.com. And to hear every Bramble Jam Podcast ad-free, go to BrambleJamPlus.com. Wrap up your holiday shopping with savings at NFM. Hurry in now for savings in every department. Shop savings on toys, TVs, recliners, appliances, and more. Plus, shop the way you want to with savings online 24-7. Take advantage of budget-friendly 24-month financing store-wide and 30-month financing on qualifying appliance, TV, and audio purchases. Make your holidays happen for less only at NFM. And visit NFM for your chance to win a Tesla Model Y. Minimum monthly payments required, 18% APR. Some exclusions apply. See store for details.